aproximadamente una profundidad de 24 o 25 metros. Se encuentra a pie de carretera, como usted puede ver, llama la atención de los automovilistas. Del interior de este socavón emana humo, humo que huele a plástico quemado o a gasolina quemada. Pero las autoridades mencionan que se descarta la posibilidad de que este socavón haya, se haya hecho por la mano de, de un humano o alguna máquina excavadora. También se descarta la posibilidad de que haya sido algún meteorito el que haya caído en el lugar. Pero existe la teoría de que por este lugar pasan las tuberías de gas. Se cree que pudo haber sido alguna explosión en alguna válvula la que haya provocado el hundimiento. Scheiße. Chill, voll auf dem Smart ist es da. Ciao. Ganz Autos beschädigt, schnell. Ah, nein, Boah, jetzt. Boah.
¡Oh, chaval! ¡Oh, chaval! ¡Oh, chaval! ¡Qué buena! Next time you see this plant in your backyard, don't cut it down, because this is the best natural painkiller you'll ever find. Some people even compare it to morphine. This common plant is called wild lettuce, and was commonly used by Native Americans two centuries ago for both food and medicine. So today I'm going to show you how to make a simple wild lettuce extract to keep in your medicine cabinet and use whenever you need it. Now if you take a leaf or stem and squeeze it, you'll see a white substance coming out. This is where the potency of the plant lies. Because of this white juice, the early European settlers also called it opium lettuce. This milky substance doesn't contain any opiates, but it's working on the central nervous system directly to lessen the feeling of pain. Nowadays, many people are turning their attention back to this lost knowledge and use it as a replacement for addictive prescription pain medicines. So let's avert our gaze from our modern survival thinking for just a bit and look at how our great-grandparents did it 150 years ago. I collected about 50 leaves today and washed them thoroughly. So the first thing you should do is grind them up in a blender, not very thinly, and only just for a few seconds. Place the ground leaves into a wide pot and add just enough water to cover them. Now place the pot on the stove on low heat for 30 minutes. Do not let it boil because you'll destroy all the good stuff in it. Stir every 15 minutes until the water reaches a dark brown color, just like this. Now pour the substance while still hot into another pot through a strainer. Almost none or very little plant material should get through it. Try to squeeze as much water as you can while the plant is in the strainer. This solution contains all the core elements of wild lettuce, especially the pain-killing essence. But it's not concentrated enough, yet. So in order to obtain this essence, you should warm it over low heat again until the water is vaporized basically dehydrating the solution until it becomes a paste like this. Be careful at the end when there is little water left. You should not burn the extract at the bottom of the pot. What you should have now here is pure wild lettuce extract. You can pour it in a small glass container like this and put it in your medicine cabinet for later use when you'll need it. Wild lettuce is unscheduled by the FDA, meaning it's legal to grow, own, and forage without prescription or license, just like how the Native Americans used to heal their pain. North Korea is denouncing a new American nuclear strategy that calls for the U.S. to enhance its arsenal of low-yield nuclear weapons. A spokesperson for the North Foreign Ministry's Institute of American Studies says the U.S. strategy is a declaration of war against the world. As part of our defense, we must modernize and rebuild our nuclear arsenal, hopefully never having to use it but making it so strong and so powerful that it will deter any acts of aggression by any other nation or anyone else.
Perhaps someday in the future, there will be a magical moment when the countries of the world will get together to eliminate their nuclear weapons. Unfortunately, we are not there yet.